a really good week. So those of you that aren't on Mystic Love Tarot's uh, Facebook and Instagram, I announced on there over the weekend that we're going to be holding a competition this week. Um, reason for that is because I know I, at the very start of the year I had a really bumpy ride. You all know I had a really bumpy ride with my nan and getting really sick um, and it was really, really kind of up and down and all your love and support, you did so much for me um, and for my family as well, your caringness, your, your kind-heartedness, your healing, your messages of love. It really kind of helped me in a very, very difficult time. So um, I want to offer it back to you guys and I'm going to do that by this competition. So to enter the competition you need to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already um, and it's a competition for two of you guys watching to win a 15 minute reading with me, okay? Um, so two winners, 15 minute reading, private reading with me uh, for free, okay? So the way that we're gonna uh, get you to enter the competition is if you go over to the website, www.mysticlovetarot.com, go to the section that says contact us. It says us, and us, whenever I say us, I always mean me and my guides. As you know, I'm not a general tarot reader, I am a psychic medium, I channel directly from spirit. So when it says contact us, um, it technically means me and my guides, um, because they are always in my ear, and when I read for you, your guides are in my ears too. So go over to www.mysticlovetarot.com, I'll put the link in the description, go to the bit that says contact us, fill in the form and it says, it says email address, um, and it says message, okay? So in your message, if you can just put competition and your name. Now, if you don't wanna reveal your name, just put anonymous, that is completely fine. What I will do is on the reading next Thursday is I'm gonna put all the names in some kind of hat or something like that, and I will pull out two, two of those names. Now, if you have chosen to stay anonymous, what I will do is I'll just say this is anonymous and I will email you to say that you have won the competition, okay? So just to recap, and I'll put all the details in the description for you so you guys can go and do it. Subscribe to the channel. Obviously, if any of your friends and family feel that they need any support at this moment in time as well, get them to subscribe and anyone can enter. Um, so go over to Mystic Love, subscribe, go to mysticlovetarot.com, go to contact us, fill in the form with the word competition under messages. It's gonna come over straight to my inbox. I'm gonna print out all of your names, stick them in a hat, and then I will reveal them next Thursday. Um, I'm gonna put the close off for this on Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday the 7th, I wanna say, I'm gonna put the close off Tuesday the 7th so if you can get things to me your names uh, by Tuesday the 7th at about midnight that would be great because then I've got a bit of time to get uh, get it out to you and have a review of everyone's names make sure everyone's names are kind of in the hat um, and that I haven't missed anyone um okay so that's what we are going to do this week so following from that what I want to do today or what my guides have asked me to do is about the spiritual connection between you and your person and we're going to look at whether they can feel it can they feel the energy of your connection, okay? So we have, we've gone back to Caro Marchetti's decks today, uh, deck number one and deck number two. So I want you to think about you. I want you to obviously think about you, think about your person. And as you're thinking about your person, I want you to feel that energy from your heart or your emotions towards your person. And as you are feeling those energies, can you push it into the deck that you are most drawn to? This is literally the Marchetti Tarot and this is the Encore Tarot, both of them by him. He's a fabulous artist, I met him at the WDA conference, um, brilliant, brilliant guy, a phenomenal artist, so I really recommend going over to his website and checking out his decks. Um, okay, so, put the energy into the deck, cool. Right, let's go, so deck number one, let's do this. So, as I said um, in the competition section, I am a psychic medium. Um, I do, when I read locally, I did do mediumship readings, I also did stage work where I did mediumship. Um, but now, the, the tarot kind of my tool as I connect up to spirit and the higher dimensions. So, technically, it's kind of a mix up of everything, but normally it's my guys just muttering and singing um, in, the ear, in my ears and passing messages over to you, plus your loved ones, helpers and guides in private readings, your personal tutors, uh, your personal teachers, your loved ones that have passed over. Okay, right, think about your person for me. Can we get into the collective energy of the people? So as you know, um, this works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your individual circumstances. Uh, a bit like when we work the mass average out at school, we go into all of your energies, pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. Can we do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes of that number one as well? So my guide is saying that we need nine cards for this divine connection between you both. 
Can I have nine cards, please? Okay, very interesting that we suddenly got country roads take me home coming through my right ear this is talking about wherever you are with the connection between the two of you um this is a definite divine connection and the country road taking you home is talking about the connection between the two of you and your journey to enlightenment with one another um so that is what that song is meaning i always think of that song at christmas you know whenever i'm driving to my parents at christmas i always have that on do they feel the divine connection It's a hand slip. Do they feel a divine connection? Five, six, seven, eight, and one more, please. One more, please. Fabulous. Okay, so there is definitely a spiritual connection between the, the two of you. That is undoubtable. That is completely undoubtable there is a very strong bond that is holding the two of you together now some of you guys um you will have a karmic connection even if you are twin flames okay even if you are higher vibrational soulmates there is an element of past life karma coming up here so if you guys haven't gone and done a past life clearing we would recommend that you go and do that i do do past life readings if you want one doing uh, which helps to clear the karma but you're more than capable of doing it yourselves if you go onto youtube type in past life hypnosis past like karma clearing, anything along those lines and have a go at having a go <laughs> at clearing your karmic energy with your person. So they do know that there is a strong connection between the two of you, they do feel it. And they definitely feel it um, in their lower chakra points, okay? So um, the root chakra, the sacral chakra and the solar plexus. This is all about stability and security. Um, it's about liquids and bones in your body if you wanna go down the physical side of things. But also it's to do with self-confidence and the sexual pull between you both. So they can feel it on a kind of very passionate chemistry basis that this is a divine connection between the two of you. So yes, they do know that there is something more going on here than meets the eye. Now the energy can often be misconnected as a sexual energy, again going down to the root chakra and the lower chakras, they do feel that this is a very strong sexual energy between you both. And with that we also have this kind of addiction energy coming on. So it, to you, it's for them, to you, for them, you are like a drug to them, okay? So they often get this massive need to pull, to text you, to call you, and you might go a long time without speaking to them, or you might speak to them every week, but they still get this pull to want to get back in touch with you or communicate with you or contact you. So they really do feel this sexual drive between the two of you plus this addictive energy. They haven't experienced this with anyone else. They are never gonna experience this with anyone else. So yes, they can feel that the connection is very, very strong between the two of you very very strong we have with that as well let's talk about these two okay so with that we have this this energy kind of coming forward that they get a little bit freaked out and a little bit frightened by the connection sometimes circumstances for a lot of you circumstances will be stopping this whether it's third party family age gaps culture etc etc there is going to be um circumstances that are stopping this moving forward if it isn't physical circumstances it's circumstances within your person so they get a little bit because they've never experienced this type of connection with anyone else they can feel very overwhelmed with it they can feel that the passion is very igniting very drive i just got um love the way you lie by eminem um I love the lyrics in that that says maybe this is what happens when a tornado meets a volcano and that is essentially where your connection is. Sometimes you can find that you guys are having arguments, sometimes you can find that things just spiral out of control and again it all comes down to the passion that you two share with one another, the chemistry. Now they don't often know how to handle this situation because of that. They try to, well they sometimes try to see things from a different perspective but they do end up getting themselves feeling stuck and um, they don't realise that they're the ones that can release their entanglement towards you they can let it go they don't realize that because if they feel that um when i'm saying about releasing the entanglement towards you what they mean is, uh, what spirit mean by that is letting go of that kind of negative i'm stuck i can't move forward i don't know what i'm doing with my life i'm just going to stay put until something happens they don't realize that they can release this entanglement towards you. So they're holding strong at the moment and holding steady with the connection, um, either not doing anything or again, uh, yeah, basically not doing anything. 
just stuck, very stagnant, very stuck energy. But they definitely sense the connection between the both of you. It's undisputable. Okay, so you guys are probably feeling a little bit pissed off with the situation, a little bit fed up with it, a little bit like what's actually happening here, come on, you are taking forever, um, I got then uh, time, to, uh, Chase and Status, Time, Feet Delilah, I know we've had that before, love that song, quality song if you like your drum and bass like me, um, really, really good song. Time, Feet Delilah, if you can find the time to give your love to me, just drop me a line and tell me where you'll be. Um, so they are playing a little bit of silly buggers at the moment not really doing anything about the connection but that doesn't mean that they don't feel it spirit also telling me that there is a sense of telepathy going on between you guys if you want to work on telepathy um the best way to do it um is if you feel your energy in your heart towards them if you sit in there shut your eyes focus your eyes to your third eye point to clear your mind feel your energy in your heart center towards your person feel the love feel the connection feel the bond um, breathing into that energy and then if you just visualize them okay visualize them in the house wherever you feel that they are trust your own intuition on that feel them see them sitting there and you can go up to them and I tend to blow in people's ears to let them know that I'm there I'll flick their ear and say hey I'm here passing over the message into their energy really whisper it into their ear feel the close connection between the two of you feel that heart energy visualize them go towards them whisper into their ear please make the sentences about three words long maybe five at a push any more than that it can get lost in translation so if you are going to try telepathy try and limit it keep it to the very short sentences like i love you please text me uh, get in touch something along those lines okay telepathy is definitely coming up as quite a, 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 a indisputable again spirit are saying undisputable sorry spirit are saying there's undisputable connection and they're saying that the telepathy is involved within that okay so you guys are communicating on a higher frequency um on a more spiritual connection between the two of you that's also why you guys watching sometimes when you're pottering around the house you can either see or sense their energy walking in your home and you're like oh my god what is that or other times you'll be just sitting there and you'll be driving along and you start having an argument with them even though they're not there and you're getting annoyed and you're telling them your thoughts your feelings and everything that you want to say to them it's definitely coming down that telepathy route between the two of you again highlighting a very strong divine connection so your person at the moment is currently dormant they might be asleep not much really happening you're getting fed up you're like would you just hurry up change your circumstances so we can be together now your person is even though it looks like nothing is happening at this moment in time spirit is saying that the connection between the two of you is going through a period of transformation so things are changing things are developing and things are growing and with that you have this movement of heart-centered energy towards you okay it's stable it is secure and it isn't as far away as what you would think it would be. Okay, so those of you that are thinking, God, this is taking forever, it's gonna take years and years, you have got movement coming forward. It's a steady trot, those of you who do horse riding, it is a steady trot, it's not a gallop and it's not a slow walk, it is a steady trot towards you, but it's positive that it is steady, okay? The reason for that is because it means that in this period of transformation, you guys can build on a more stable foundation between the two of you. So all of this sticky, stagnant energy that you guys are currently stuck him, is going to start shifting with this slow, oh, slow, steady, heart-centered movement towards you and the slow, steady trot. With that, there's going to be some kind of offering that comes forward, um, which is going to be more around stability. And again, this highlights the lower chakra points in yours and your person's connection. Now with that, Spirit also saying with you guys, um, you might find that you are connected to your person for your lower chakra points. Um, if that is the case, and some of you are really gonna start getting a few headaches, can you please keep your fluid intake up and make sure that you're drinking water. Um, if you can get bottled water or filter your water so the fluoride's not in it, that would be even better. Um, but because the connection is really on the lower chakra points at this moment in time, it will shift, it will change, it will move to the higher, higher vibrational uh, chakras. But at the moment on the lower chakras, um, you might find that you guys are running out of fluids, you might find that your knees are starting to hurt, that your bones are aching a little bit and perhaps a bit of arthritis coming through. Again, it's to do with the connection between the two of you and where you are connected in your lower chakra points with one another. So just be aware of that as well when it comes to the connection of the two of you. Um, 
when, when this movement comes forward from your person, the connection is going to be moving more from the lower chakra points up to the heart center and the throat chakra to do with your, their emotions and their communication with you, okay? So the connection might be feeling a little bit stuck at the moment, but it is going to be shifting in the right direction and your chakra points are going to be aligning to different frequencies. What else do we need to tell you? What else do we need to tell you? Um, so yeah, as we said, they can panic about the connection, they can feel the intensity of it, they can feel that it's very strong and sometimes this will make them go into a period of reflection. Now you guys are also reflecting on the situation at this moment in time and as Spirit said it's definitely going through this period of transformation. It, it's like you guys, at the moment your person is um, the, the, what is that, what's it called? The, uh, you know the butterflies and then they have the shell that they go into, it's not a catalyst, it begins with a C, I've forgotten what the word is, I can't hear it clearly either, um, but when they are in their thing that the butterflies go from the caterpillar to the butterfly and the chrysalis, when they go into their cranky spirit, um, in their chrysalis at this moment in time, and there is going to be a rebirth and born into this butterfly, this period of transformation is going to happen between the two of you. Spirit is saying that the connection uh, has been really weighing down on a lot of you um, more so recently it's been feeling you've been feeling very heavy you've been feeling as if you haven't been living your truth because your person hasn't been allowing that um, so this period of transformation is really key for you guys to be moving and shifting this uh, connection forward with one another and they will have this wake-up call during this period of being in the chrysalis they're gonna have this wake-up call um, it's gonna hit them like a ton of bricks spirit is saying it's gonna be and they're gonna perhaps be a little bit like a bull in a china shop two uh, states two messages just coming directly through there, bull in the china shop. Um, they won't know how to handle the situation. It's gonna really come out of nowhere that they've got to do something about the connection. Um, and again, this is where this addiction energy comes through at the start, okay? So even if you're not in contact and things are slow, that connection that you have, that addiction energy that you have, they are not gonna let you wander far. They might let you wander temporarily. Um, and as that happens, they'll go through this period of transformation, but like a hole in, uh, like, like a, uh, yeah, like hitting a brick wall, they are just suddenly gonna wake up and realize that they have got to do something about the connection and make this heart-centered movement towards you. The other thing that will be really good for you guys to have a go at doing is doing some chakra cleansing and balancing to align your energies back up with one another. Some of you guys are a little bit mixed matched. Um, what you can do with that is if you visualize, <laughs> they're bombarding you with information today, if you visualize you and your person sitting opposite each other, see where your chakra points are aligned, uh, you might find there is a mix match where your chakra points are aligned, for example, your heart chakra could be connected to the sacral chakra, so it's where you're feeling really emotional, your person is feeling really horny, and it can mean that there's a mismatch in communication, so if you wanted to have a go at clearing that, what you need to do is visualize you and your person sitting up as each opposite each other see where your seven main chakra points are aligned um and just shift them okay just visualize them moving into the place of your third eye to third eye crown to crown throat to throat heart to heart lower chakras all connected with one another it might feel you guys might be feeling that this connection has kind of either run its course or you really can't deal with it any more or any longer um keep putting one foot in front of the other okay your person is very much aware that this is a connection that they are not going to get with anyone else if you're worried about them going off and seeing other people or if they're already with someone else please don't overly fret about it okay it's not going to be what you think it's going to be you would know about it you will know about it if that time comes um and you should protect you should already you know if they're third party you know about that already as well so you have got this shift and this movement in the energy towards you do they feel the spiritual connection between the two of you yes they absolutely do are they scared of it yes they absolutely are are they running from it yes they absolutely are. Um, please try not to overly chase them. They need to have this wake up call um, in their own time, okay, in this period of transformation. They need this wake up call in their own time. And the way they will have that is uh, largely through a spiritual connection. Spirit are communicating with them, I'm hearing. Guides are talking to them. You also, uh, Spirit also saying that you guys share mutual guides. So if you wanna know how to, to work with that, um, just connect up, ask your mutual guides for you and your person to step forward and they can do the communication 
communicating for you um, rather than you doing on a, on a physical 3D level that would also help you guys and the connection. So you have past, uh, potentially a lot of past life, well potentially past life karma with a lot of you. Um, so have a go at clearing that. Let this uh, transformation occur. The sexual energy and the lover chakras are really aligning with the two of you. They know there is more to this connection than meets the eye. They have never experienced a connection like this with anyone else and they never will again, okay? So it is definitely a more divine connection and they can definitely feel it okay which is pretty cool so have a good go at the tools and techniques that spirit have said to you to try and help this situation move forward if you need me give me a shout and if you're interested in entering the competition uh, just follow go back to the start of the video and follow the instructions that my guides and i have set out for you okay guys that's step number one have a really good week uh, get the results for the competition uh, get your names uh, onto the website for Tuesday and I will enter you into the free competition uh, for two of you to win a 15 minute reading with me next week. I will announce their answer on Thursday. Okay guys, lots of love. Speak to you soon. Okay guys, deck number two. Now if you've just tapped in, tuned in and turned on, if you want to go back to the very start of the video, I'm running a competition this week as a thank you for all the love and support you gave me at the very start of the year, um, you know, the start months of the year, because everything's a lot more settled now. I want to thank you all. Um, so I'm holding a competition for you guys to win, uh, two of you to win a free reading with me. So if you want to do the competition, go back to the start of the video and I explain it all to you. Okay, so deck number two, let's do this. So this is about the connection between you and your person. Um, I am a psychic medium rather than just a tarot reader. How I work is I connect up with spirit, loved ones, helpers, guides. I use the tarot as the tool, um, but most of it, what happens is spirit just channel through me, giving you information, direct information from them to you. Okay. So think about your person for me, deck number two, please. Okay, look, can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? Oh, that was, okay, so, <laughs> you guys, uh, this is quite interesting. You've got a bit of a sweet thing going on over here because I just had two songs. I got Take Me To The Candy Shop. I know this, these top songs are both a little bit naughty. Take Me To The Candy Shop and My Milkshake Brings All The Boys To The Yard, okay? I'm gonna throw them at you. Um, perhaps there's a connection specifically with some of you and those songs. Um, but also what we're talking about here is there is a, again, song, strong sexual energy between you, but it's also bittersweet spirit saying there's a bittersweet connection between you both. Kind of also a happy-go-lucky connection spirit are saying that you both kind of just go with the flow of it and hope for the best. Okay, can they feel the spiritual connection between the people watching and their people? That makes sense. The divines, couples, do they feel the connection? I take you to the candy shop. <laughs> Do they feel the connection between the two of you? So there is, again, uh, I said in debt number one about the sexual energy between you both, but there is definitely a sexual energy coming forward as well with deck number two, especially with those two songs. So it could be that your person isn't committing to you at the moment. Um, it could be that you're perhaps friends with benefits or things just haven't, you know, this non-commitment is just coming forward. Um, either way, there is a very strong sexual chemistry connection between the two of you. Now, it's really interesting in these cards that you have only got three varieties. You have major arcana, you have pentacles, you have wands, okay? So there's a little bit um, of a situation going on when your person is requiring and you are requiring the stability and the security. They do feel heart-centered emotions towards you. They do feel the love between the two of you, but mainly at this moment in time, your person is focusing more on a stable connection, okay? So they might feel that they've been a little bit ungrounded with the connection, that they haven't been giving you what you want. Again, the sexual energy coming forward. There's potential that there's been conflicts and arguments around you both, and also periods of silence. You guys are very much stuck in a loop a lot of the time that you're going around, feeling like you're chasing, I just saw a hamster in a wheel, feeling like you're going around in a wheel and you're not getting anywhere, not 
not really progressing with the connection between the two of you. But there is good news on the way that this connection between you both is going to be having at this kind of summit spirit saying it's going to be reaching its summit as in the top of the mountain so you will have seen that wherever which way which direction you've been trying to go there's been this mountain in the way you've been feeling like you've been facing roadblocks and hurdles every step of the way now when you reach your summit of the mountain you are going to be seeing the skies from above and you are going to see that there is a much more expanse opportunities for the two of you okay so your person is kind of denying the connection a little bit at the moment um they can sense it they can feel it but they are kind of just blanking it at this moment in time they are denying it a little bit to themselves reason for that um is because they don't want to admit that there is a connection between the two of you because if they do that they know that they have got to offer you some kind of commitment and they're just not ready at this moment in time it's possible that there's stuff that's happened with exes that has stopped them wanting a relationship it's possible that they just don't really want to commit at this moment in time there's going to be stuff from childhood that's coming up about making sure it's the right person and um, hiding their emotions for you some of you guys your people will have had issues um, when they were younger and I can specifically see with one or two of you the father leaving the family and what happened there was your person had to act as that strong stable support for their mother and so they started burying their emotions down deep for them and this is something that has progressed into them later lifetime uh, later life as well okay so at the moment they do know that there is a connection between the two of you but they are really um trying to just not act on it okay so let's just talk about these two cards over here we have the palace of wands and we have the ace of wands so again very much a strong sexual connection between the two of you they can sense this they can feel this this is something um that is again spirit said in the first line on uh, first reading undisputable or well, you guys are saying it's undeniable the connection between the two of you is very strong you feel that you might be chasing your tail a little bit with this and it's not really making progress but you are on the right direction they've just shown me a clip from the labyrinth okay uh, one of my favorite films of all time when uh, sarah is chasing around looking for toby and she's feeling like she's getting stuck and this is what the palace card is indicating okay spirit is saying the sorry this one what the palace card is indicating is that you're kind of feeling like you're in this labyrinth at the moment again you haven't reached the summit you're feeling like you're chasing your tail and this per your person is still not quite committing to you but they do feel the sexual energy between you both they really really do feel that Okay, now if we look at your major arcanas over here, it's very interesting. We have the High Priestess, the Strength, Empress, and the Tower. Okay, all of these. Now, you guys are feeling a lot better, you're feeling a lot stronger, you're feeling a lot more in your power. Some of you are wanting this connection to to blossom, to grow, obviously all of you are wanting that. But some of you more so, issues of children might be flagging up with you guys, like come on, hurry up, you're taking your time, I wanna have kids. Um, but overall, what you guys are doing at this moment in time is you are growing in strength. You are feed, feeling this connection, you are standing in your power. Some of you have had enough and you're like, right, you know what, until you do this, I'm gonna just get on with my own life. And you are standing in this very strong, powerful energy. And Spirit is saying that you've upgraded from the High Priestess to the Empress, you've gone one step up, okay? You're nurturing yourself, you're loving yourself, and this is gonna be paramount, they're saying, in this connection moving forward. So the more self-love you pour into this connection, the better it is gonna be for you and the outcome, all right? So you've got a lot of courage, you've worked extremely hard to be where you are today, you are not the same person you were a year ago. Spirit is saying be really proud of how far you have come and what you have achieved. Now with this as well, there are also swans in here indicating the divine connection between the two of you. They can sense it, they can feel it, your person is just kind of trying not to act on it at this moment, all right? Very much in this strong, powerful, based energy. The more you grow with this, the more they are gonna sense the connection between the two of you. Now, your person, where they are, is they are looking from at this from a kind of very stable standpoint at the moment and thinking, well, you know what? I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I'm not sure what direction it's gonna go in. I'm really just gonna go with the flow. 
see what happens and take it from there. And that is making you guys really fed up. Now, I just got Dua Lipa new rules. If you feel like you are chasing your person, please go and do one, don't pick up the phone, two, you know he's only calling because he's drunk and alone. Stay in that power-based energy. The more you step into this power, into your bitch power, into your high priestess slash empress, I am the one in control, you are gonna be moving this situation forward. The empress, um, even though she's very much a nurturer and she's a very, very kind, loving woman, she had to gain her crown from somewhere and that crown comes from the inner strength. Remember who you are. You are a divine being, okay? Um, spirit always said to me, and I love this quote, remember that you are not a human having a spiritual experience, you're a spirit having a human experience, okay? So if you start to worry or get concerned about the connection and what's happening with it please just try and remember who you are step into the high priest energy upgrade it to the empress the more self-work you do the more this is going to turn in your favor now your person might be feeling attached to their situation their circumstances perhaps if they are already with someone else they are not very happy okay please remember that so if you're worrying that they're seeing someone else or they are with someone else and you're like oh my god this is taking the pee which is just hurry up and do something, please remember that they aren't happy. They're feeling very lonely, they're feeling very sad, and they're feeling very like, actually, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. They envy you to a certain extent with that as well. Um, because you guys have been able to move forward with your life, again, in your power energy, you've got ability to choose what direction you wanna go in, where you want to head, um, and your person kind of feels envious of that you know perhaps age gaps whatever your individual circumstances are there's just a few of you third parties you'll know about it um age gaps obviously you will know about it but there is reasons why your person has an envy towards you um also as well spirit is saying that they sometimes doubt their attractiveness in themselves and they find that you are more attractive than them so they do worry about that like why would you be attracted to, uh, to them that's not all of you that is some of you okay they don't see their own worth now you guys are working on your own worth which is great and um, that will have a mirroring effect onto your person but your person does not see their own worth at this moment in time okay and um, some of them feel that they're a shadow of who they used to be they do feel quite stuck and um, a little bit of jealousy a little bit of envy they wouldn't want you to move on from this situation because if you moved on they're going to realize that you know they haven't handled this right their emotions for you do run deep, but they are very good at dismissing them and pretending that there isn't these emotions there that they can put them under the surface. They know that if, you know, I just saw a plant in the, the, um, the ground and the plant rising from the ground, they know that to water the plant, um, they, you've got to cover it in manure and it will grow, okay? And they know that they've been through a lot of shit. At the moment, they feel that they're stuck, okay? They don't know how to progress forward. Um, they feel a shadow of their former selves. They've been through a lot of stuff um, and a lot of them are really kind of trying to discover who they are at this moment in time. And that could be another reason why they haven't committed to you just yet. So very lonely, very sad, very heavy energy. Now the stability that's coming forward on their side of things is they want to get themselves into a more stable position before they come to you and say, right, let's give it a go. Also with that, a lot of your people want to be single for the time being. They're enjoying spending time alone. Some of you guys, uh, your people will be going through a divorce or have just got divorced. Um, they're wanting to be, you know, spend time on their own, really rebuild this connection that they have with themselves. Um, they've been feeling quite blinded by things recently, again, and through that blindness, um, there comes the light. I just got that, um, yeah, 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 that's fine. Just got that quote from Harry Potter that says, if, um, you know, uh, light appears in the darkest of times if only one remembers to turn on the light or something along those lines that's what spirit is saying so um this connection your person has been going through a bit of a darker time and this is why they might have withdrawn or feeling quite low about the connection between the two of you or not giving you what they want they really need to re-establish and rebuild this connection up for themselves before they offer you anything if they offered you this connection at this moment in time you're gonna be feeling very weighed down and bogged down with it because they would be feeding off you quite a lot. You know, you guys are empaths, you're naturally psychic, the majority of you, um, you know, you really do follow your own intuition. And with that, you have energy vampires that come and suck your energy away. And your person, if they came to you at this moment in time and gave you the commitment that you want, you might find that they are sucking your energy. Um, so they need to really establish a connection back up with themselves. And once they've done that, this can move forward. So over here, 
your person, once they've got themselves into this stable position and they're feeling more secure over the situation, you have this tower, okay? So everything, they, at the moment, you guys are working on yourself, your person is working on themselves, you've got the sexual energy between the two of you and this kind of non-commitment vibe coming forward, but what will happen is the more your person works on themselves, the more, well, actually, the more you work on yourself, the more this will echo onto your person and they will work on themselves to get themselves into a more stable position. And once they are feeling more stable over this situation, this is when the tower is going to erupt and you are in the background of this with the moon in the background, okay? The female energies. Remember, never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel, but with divine connections, it always works with the masculine and feminine energy. So the majority of you watching will be considered female energy. So you have this in the background. They're either going to see something or something's going to happen, which is going to make them realize that this connection needs to be really re-established and rebonded. okay? So this tower will hit and it's going to be like a lightning bolt. It could be potentially that you guys, again, are moving forward with your life and they see something on social media they don't like, which is going to make them rush towards you. Or they're just going to be, you know, dreaming about you a lot more, speak feeling that connection, really establishing that ground between the two of you. This tower will hit, they will realize what they've done, they will realize that they need to reconnect with you or, you know, re-establish that connection, rebuild that connection up. And that is when it's gonna come down to you guys about where this is going and what you want. So, the sexual energy, again, very much at the forefront. Do they feel your spiritual connection? Yes, but they don't wanna to agree to it, they don't wanna to admit to it. Okay, they can sense that this is a strong connection between the two of you. They can feel the passion. They can feel that something's a little bit different going on here. Um, a lot of your people wouldn't classify themselves as spiritual. You've probably got a few atheists going on or open-minded people. They don't want to admit that there's more to this world than what they see. You know, everyone's entitled to their own points of view. Um, perhaps they aren't spiritually inclined. That is completely cool. So they might think that maybe you're a little bit woo-woo if you talk about a divine connection between the two of them. That is completely their point of view. That is completely their choice over the situation. But if they took away all this fear-based energy of things that they don't really understand, would they sense it a bit more? Yes, when they get to a more stable position in themselves. At the moment, it's like they're consumed by their own uh, needs, their own kind of gains, their own grief, their sadness of where what's happened in their life, and they're really kind of trying to reconnect that establishment with themselves. And once they do that, they're really gonna realize what's happened between the two of you. And that, when this tower hits, that is when they will realize that there is a spiritual connection between the two of you. That is when they'll sense it more. That is when they'll start potentially looking up psychics or doing cards or trying to find out what's going on, maybe Googling twin flames, etc., etc. So at the moment, the connection between the two of you is very much about perhaps you guys you know, I talk about the helix, perhaps you guys are coming further away at the moment, but your energies will, um, spirit saying amalgamate, you will amalgamate, you will align with one another and reconnect this connect, well, this connection will reconnect. Do they feel it as a spiritual connection? Not yet, but they know there's more going on than meets the eye. And when that tower hits, they will know. There is gonna be nowhere for this to hide when this tower hits. This is exciting, okay? Um, with that, I just got, I heard October really clearly. Remember the timings that Spirit give on collective readings, it is a mutual timing. Again, if you wanna look at individual timings, just give me a shout. Um, but yeah, keep working on yourself, guys. Keep gathering this strength. Keep standing in this kind of high priestess, borderline empress energy. The more you work on yourself um, and do this kind of, just saw crystals quite clearly. Some of you guys might want to consider crystal healing. Um, I hate the word when people say, oh, you've got to work on self-love and things like that. Yes, it is part of the process when it comes to divine connection. Self-love is key. But the other side of it is, you know, it's really, really re-establishing that connection with yourself, rebonding your energy to yourself, learning who you are. And that comes through time, but it also comes through a lot of meditation, calming energies. You know, if you're feeling a bit terminal, relax, put on a meditation, chill. You know, you can manifest this moving forward as well. Never forget that. If you need a manifesting plan, give me a shout. But this connection between the two of you, it is there, it is passionate and it is strong. 
Will they commit to you? Once this thunderbolt hits and this tower comes, it's likely that they are gonna do something more about the situation than what they have done before. Um, but at the moment, they're really kind of just trying to deny the connection. Um, and again, it's because of all the reasons that we said at the start. Do they feel the connection? Yes, are they acting on it? No, they're just kind of putting it down and trying not to think about it really. Okay, and that is deck number two. So if you need me, um, all the details are in the description. I'll put on, uh, la, la, la. I can't get me weirds out today. I've got so many people talking in my ear. It comes out sometimes. It's like, la, 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 la. Um, I will put about how to enter the competition in the details of the description. If you have just tuned in, again, go back to the start of the video and I explain it all to you there. Have a really good week, uh, guys. End of the competition is uh, Tuesday about midnight English time. So if you can get your name into me before then and I will get uh, the... I will announce the, the two winners uh, on Thursday. So thank you once again for all your love and support with Mystic Love Tarot over the, over the last couple of years. Um, we've come a long way from my little flat. Um, so I just wanna thank you all. Um, and especially with what happened with my gran and being sick, you guys were absolutely the best. So thanks once again for all your love and support. Um, if you haven't subscribed, go hit subscribe and have a go at entering the competition. Okay guys, lots of love, take care, God bless, bye.